64 degrees at 8 o'clock. It's Tuesday, September 11th. I'm Lee Harris. Here's what's happening. It's primary day and the polls are open. You couldn't course. live within or visit New York without getting a tour of the tower. And if you were really intrepid, you might actually go to the roof. 2110, uh, you got it coming in from building number two on the 97th floor, people trapped. Stay where you are. When the World Trade Center buildings were going up, my dad told me, when those are finished, we're going to go up on the top. My dad said these buildings will last for a thousand years. They'll be here forever. In the World Trade Center, the building, they're making their way up It's 25 to 30 people. It's a terrific place to work. And on a clear day, you could see the curvature of the Earth. I said, no, it's not possible. It's not possible that my life is going to end this way. Can we break a window? Whatever you have to do to get there. Break a window, somebody! It was really every fiber in your body is screaming. It's like, you got to get out of here. you got to get out of here. <laughs> okay, let's give you a hand here. Come on, guys. You got to sell the VIP to get down. They're all notified. Fire department, ambulance, they're all notified. Fire department, and then police are 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 all Less than two hours from this moment, both towers of the World Trade Center will be in ruins. A further three aircraft will have been hijacked and crashed, and thousands of lives changed forever. This film looks at the events at the heart of the unfolding disaster through the eyes of the people who were there and shows minute by minute what really happened inside the World Trade Center on the day America came under attack. Billions of TV viewers around the world have grandstand views of the unfolding events. But people inside the towers know almost nothing. No, no, it's an explosion. The man who knows the Twin Towers inside out is construction manager Frank Demartini. He has overseen the rebuilding work following a bomb attack in 1993. What, above us? I don't know. I just don't know. Whatever it was, shouldn't we be getting out of here? Frank, hey, hey, do you know what happened? No idea. I'd say the building moved 10, maybe 12 feet. Uh, more like 20. What's it like out there? A lot of debris, people pretty shot. Can they clear it? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Honey, uh, find somewhere less smoky. Uh, Alan's office, maybe? Now stay there till they find a way out. Matt, Pablo and me, we're gonna check out the rest of the floor. Frank's wife, Nicole, also works at the World Trade Center as a structural inspector for an engineering firm. You think the building's all right? Well, if the slip joint's held, yeah. Mac, yeah. get your gear. Right here. Mac? Yeah. Try to persuade him to come down. Please. OK. American Airlines Flight 11 instantly destroys six floors of the North Tower. Though all levels were designed to be smoke and fire resistant, Smoke penetrates through the remaining floors to the top within a minute of the impact. 
Listen up, everybody. Everyone, listen up, everybody, please. Everyone, please, we've got to stay calm. Can you listen up? I am going to call the emergency services. They will be with us shortly, okay? This morning, in charge of the conference suites at Windows on the World is Christine Orlando. We need to check the elevators. Sir, could you do that, please? Elevator. Out there, thank you. All the phone calls Christine makes this morning to the Port Authority Police Department are recorded and transcribed. Port Authority Police Officer Maggie. Yes, hi, this is Christine, Assistant GM of Windows. We're getting no direction up here. We're having a smoke condition. We have most people on the 106th floor. The 107th floor is way too smoky. We need to know where to direct our guests and our employees as soon as possible. Okay, we're doing our best, man. We got the fire department, everybody. We're trying to get up here. Uh, you know, our guests are scared. Stairways A, B, and C blocked off in smoke. Yes. Yeah. Okay, here, go back in two minutes. Okay. <laughs> You're on the air yes, right yes. now. Uh, can, what can, go ahead. What can you tell us? This, Justin, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Clearly, something relatively devastating happening this morning there on the south end of the island of Manhattan. Just six floors below the impact, financial trader Hong Shu and his co workers have no idea what has happened. We just suddenly felt there was a big shake, a rumble. I say we go, I say we go now. We can't just hang around waiting for something. And uh, after that uh, initial rumble, we looked around. Uh, the ceilings caved in, and uh, we didn't know what happened. Come on, kiddo. We need to get out of here. Hong's co-workers include Harry Ramos, head trader. You're not coming with us? I think we should stay here and wait for instructions. But why? It's an emergency. Somehow I remembered in 1993 there was uh, uh, an incident in uh, World Trade Center. And uh, some people died, not because of the bo a bomb, uh, but because uh, they were stepped upon uh, exiting the building. Huh, the building just moved 10 feet. It's not safe. Hey, folks, come on, gotta go. No, I'm staying. People, and good move. luck. And you too. See you at Max for lunch. Sorry, your call could not be taken right now. Please hold the line. Within minutes of the first impact, the 911 phone system is clogged with people calling the emergency services. People from inside the towers, as well as their families and friends, are calling the Port Authority Security Command Center for instructions and information. We want you out the building, ma'am. Sir, there are emergency services on their way to you. Evacuate the building. Emergency services are on their way. <laughs> Most of the people who are able to choose to evacuate the North Tower. The Others choose not to. And for a very simple reason, they have been told not to. All personnel, remain at your desks. Please remain at your desks. All personnel, remain at your desks. Calling on the 43rd floor. What are we supposed to do? We want you out the building, ma'am. Do not use the elevator. Use the stairwells. Evacuate the building. But they're saying not to. All personnel, remain at your desks. Please remain at your desk. I'm going to put you on hold. Could you just hold the line for a second? PA's telling them to stay where they are. What? Can, can we turn it off from here? No, 